Thank you. My name is Eric Smith. I'm the CEO of Solvoltaics. We're uh, based in southern Sweden. Solvoltaics has two core competencies. The first is the ability to make very sophisticated nanowires very inexpensively, and that's in a method called aerotaxy. And the second core competency is our ability to take these, this random mess of nanowires and align them, orient them, aggregate them, and put them into a film. Our product is a product on the upper right. It's a full film, full module size film, consisting of billions of gallium arsenide phosphide nanowires. We take this film, we sell it to Trina, for example. They'll put that film in the last stages of their module manufacturing, two step, two, a two-step process. That film goes on top of the multicrystalline cells, put the glass on top of that, and the result is, by a band gap engineering, you can take a 17% cell, bring it to 28% efficiency. It's very significant. Value proposition to our customers, we will take your basic silicon or SIGS module and we'll increase the efficiency by 60 to 70% at a cost increase of 5 to 10%. What's the market going to look like in 2018? This red curve here is the forecasted selling prices for modules in 2018. Now, if you're playing in the American rooftop market, that curve is going to go up. And you get better prices if you're playing in the Chinese utility, that curve is going to go down. Okay? This is a good place to start. Okay. These black circles represent the cost to manufacture a module by these various companies, as forecasted really by them, by them in 2018. So for example, you look at JA Solar or Trina, they're going to be at 45 cents a watt in 19, 20% efficiency at that point. And that's their cost. Gross margin is obviously a difference between the sales price and, and their cost. So if we sell our film to Trina, this is where they play. Cost of 45 cents a watt, so similar cost, 28% efficiency. This is the next generation of solar. Potential customers are about 90% of all the cell and module manufacturers that are out there today. Partners can be anybody that plays in the PV space, providing materials, pastes, et cetera. We've got engagements with partners. We're supplying materials. They've provided influx of cash. And then we have LOIs from a number of all the different PV module manufacturers. As you can imagine, it's not hard to get letters of intent from these guys. They all want to try this film. So where are we on the technology? 2015 was a really good year for us. What you're seeing here in the bottom left is a picture of our AeroTaxi in the big black box. It's about uh, three meters high. AeroTaxi is now producing solar cell nanowires. This is the cost-effective way of making solar cell nanowires. One of the biggest scientific achievements a company has had, and it just happened in December of this year, is we are able to align and orient and pack the nanowires. We had a milestone of hitting 50% yield. We got 99% yield at 20 by 20 millimeter squared. Three months later, we're now at six inch. That's a 314 million time improvement in scaling in four months. This is one of the things that people thought we could not do. We've also demonstrated last year that nanowires can actually make great solar cells. We have the world record nanowire solar cell efficiency. This was presented at IEEE and was rated the top 3% of all papers given. If you look at the PV uh, website and you look at papers, it's now the fourth most read, fourth most read paper uh, at IEEE in the PV area. So where do we take this beyond this present film? So one could imagine that you could do a triple junction. You could put a gallium arsenide film on top of gallium arsenide film on top of a silicon cell. And that gets you into 35% to 40% range efficiency. Or you could do a, a double junction nanowire. So there's a, this technology has legs. So we just uh, finished around January, so we won't be raising our next round. Um, we'll probably be starting in a few months and close it maybe a year from now. We just raised over, over, 
over 10 million euros in this last round. We've got a, a new VC involved. We'll be announcing that shortly. We've raised 35 million to date. The nice thing for investors is that about 30% of this money is non-dilutive, which is great for investors, obviously. Our next round, we're looking to raise about 10 million euros. Uh, we'd like to bring in maybe one more VC, maybe a strategic, and then the president investors will, will come in as well. That 10 million will get us to our first POs. We'll have samples out with this 10 million, and we'll have POs back with this 10 million. The team. So uh, every, everybody's talked about the team. They all think their teams are, are, are great. I'm sure they are. I think the, what I want to say about our team is the critical aspect of our team is twofold. Uh, they're all PhDs. The, the directors of technology are all PhDs in their chosen field and in the field that we need, but they're also industry experienced. So when I ask them for reliability data, when I ask them for repeatability data, when I ask them for MTBF, they understand that we're building a business, we're not a science project. So this is really important. That's it. Take your 17%, we'll break it to 28. Thank you. Thank you. Almost too good to be true. If Almost too good to be true. <laughs> we can do it, it is. Yeah, and the, the first PO, the first revenues, is it coming in 2017 or Actually, 2018? Actually, we'll get our first revenues coming in at the end of uh, this year. End but of for this small year. samples, yeah. Okay. But um, really, pilot production won't start until uh, mid, mid to end of 2017. And these big uh, PV makers in China and other parts, mm -hmm. the label including uh, Solar City purchased uh, mm -hmm. them. Do they already know you and love you? And are they lining up? Or yeah, I can show you the LOI is signed of... by uh, three of the top five, all signed by the CTOs. Mm. So yeah, they're, they're going to want to try this. If we can do this, they're going to want to try it. Okay, absolutely. they give it a try. Yeah. yeah. And you are basically sense. uniquely positioned, patented, nobody else can do it like you do it? Um, one would hope. I've got another patent meeting on Friday, so <laughs> <laughs> one would hope. I think they really kick ass. Okay, thank right. you very much, thank you. Eric. I hope you succeed and get rich and do an IPO.